Before the break, Olivia shared some very traumatic childhood experiences. Now let's hear about our travels around the world, entertaining the brave men and women of our armed forces. Attention! Wow, well, that's been in, in Korea and Japan the last 30 days, entertaining our military troops. Yeah. Uh, I am the new Bob Hope. <laughs> Just started out only uh, doing basically Army. You know, now it's Army, Navy, Marines, it's, it's all of them. But, uh, you know, it, it, it actually was something to open your mind and make you think different. You know, I don't think the same since I've started traveling. Uh, I don't, I accept anything anybody says, I'm open to whatever, because the world's too big to, to settle for just what I was taught or just where I came from. You know, you, you get over into some of these countries and look around and they are who they are. You know, everybody's not like us. You know, and sometimes I wonder why we always step in other countries trying to make them like us. Yeah, the, the first time um, being in the Middle East, just landing in Bahrain and, and leaving the airport, it's, it's like watching a movie, you know. Uh, you know, all these guys with the, the dress and the, the whole nine yards, the women, you can see like this much, <laughs> you know, which I don't know how they pick up women. You know, you get home, you might have to take that one back. But, but these these uh, guys look down, you know, women are kind of like second class there. But I felt very awkward, but at the same time, I saw how dedicated to these people are to who they are. You know, they've been dedicated to who they are for a long time. Thousands of years, they have such a history. And, and for other people to disrupt that, I, I'm still not understanding that. It's different doing military shows than working in a regular comedy club, you know, here at home, uh, because you don't know what where those guys are coming from from that day, uh, what they've been through the last couple of days. And they just want to come and have a good time. And the guys, are, they're good guys, you know, and they're just out there. I think they got way more than they bargained for. I think that uh, they thought they were going to sign up and get free tuition and, and buy a house on the GI Bill and grow old. And, uh, and I mean, the fact is, a lot of them are not going to grow old. And, and that's the hard part, to to sit up and listen to them talking to you. Uh, they need the guys there. You know, there's shortage at this point. So it, it's, it's hard to get out. Once you're there, you're there. Whatever they tell you to do, that's what you signed up for. So sometimes, you, I guess you need to read between the lines when you start signing, you know, paperwork. See, and that's another thing that the troops don't, they get medical bills. Uh, we went through a hospital. A guy lost his arm. There was another one lost his foot. He had a twenty-three hundred dollar bill where he was medevac somewhere. He told me he had to pay for it. They're taking it out of his check. I don't get it. Uh, when, when I see those guys, I do. I always think about my kids when I see those guys. I mean, they're all the same age, and and, and that's the that's the approach I take when I do the comedy, from a mother's perspective, talking down to them and reminding them of their mothers. And that's, that's what makes it so funny to them. Who got kids by applause? Y'all got kids? All right, you know they're at home going through your stuff right now, right? I really respect them more now as I'm older because I realize that she can still do that and be home to raise us and teach us right from wrong. And she's not like the, I would say, the average mother who, who would uh, be on your, your coattail every five seconds about everything that you do. She pretty much gives us our freedom, but she draws the limits. And for that, I thank her, and she has made us even stronger as grown-ups now today. But the reason I keep going over there is because I know they're over there, and I know they need to laugh. And you never know if you're gonna be like the last laugh when you do what you do over there. Wow, that is so cool that she's bringing much needed laughter to our troops abroad. I would just like to take this moment to say thank you to all our troops for all your support, keeping our country safe. Thanks so much. I'm Jill Michelle Melian, and see you next time on Inside Joke.